sweet! It's the I am the ultimate. Hey there you guys, what is going on my amazing DK Beast? My name is DK, also known as DK Gaming here, and welcome your faces back towards a new episode of Paper Mario D a Thousand Year Door. Now last time on Paper Mario D a Thousand Year Door, we was actually basically using the um the clock out, and which by the way it sucks. By the way, the power up really does suck. And the fact that we just now beat it, you know, the Magnus Mon Grapple and also got into Peach's cutscenes and also Bowser's cutscenes as well. Now before I do start this video please note the press the like button below is very much appreciated for the support of this channel we like to reach the like it's around five likes in the video is very much appreciated and if you're new to the channel i suggest you subscribe and also um ring that bell for notifications as well and follow me on social media links that is down in the description down below now let's go ahead and get this started so guys so unfortunately i have recorded this episode right um right now i'm like recording my commentary over this episode of the a thousand year door episode 14 which that's what where we're at and i did the same thing i did like a pre little pre-recordings of zelda and mario kart double dash episode 8 to where i used the duos of a mario and peach well apparently sadly i didn't get the audio that is coming out of my desktop and apparently obs was being so stupid enough so apparently it just resetted that and i was just i was just immediately losing my mind but anyways, we're going to go ahead, click this audio clip, and I'm at, basically what I'm going to do is just commentate what happened in that episode and all. So without saying done, let's begin. All right, so at first, yes, I do start my videos off with the little audio clip like this and right over there. And if you can tell, this is my dolphin emulator. I press full screen. And you can tell, too, that I basically... You can see this screen. Bruh. Well, basically what I do is I pan and crop this screen. And this is where I basically start off with the episode. It's just a little menu screen that I basically do all the time. And I basically started the episode right from there. And I did like a little bit of prologue when we first left off over at the Boggly Woods. And all of a sudden, I just come down within this pipe, all right, with down this pipe. And I basically just, you know, walk through, you know, um, the root port sewers with Goombella and all. And basically, you know, I was just like, you know, just standing around doing my Mario impersonations as the usual. Ah, I'm just uh, looking at the freaking wall as the usual. And just basically going to be a chit chatting with all of my uh, DK abyss. And guys, sorry if I sound a little bit different. I'm just a little bit sick because I caught this cold. It, it was so stupid of me to get to catch some cold like that. And also, again, I may just make some a few mistakes when I'm doing the episode. But guys, that's okay because this is a little bloopers bloopers. And that's a new series to where I basically kind of bit have like all my mess ups when I'm like doing like my recordings and all and also trying to you know basically master the whole um, technique when it comes with the game that I'm whatever I'm doing and all and basically yeah I just beat like one one of those spinias and I was roasting it yeah it was funny because I was roasting a youtuber called um, Twister Twix and basically <laughs> it's funny because one of those spinias looked like freaking Twister Twix and um basically it just seemingly like his channel started to die down because of the fact that he wasn't uploading a lot of vlogs and just basically yeah everything else like that because he has a kid and you know he's been busy a whole lot lately when it comes with that type of stuff but you know you see me without no girlfriend and without any kids not whatsoever so guys <laughs> Trust me or another, I'm not going to get a girlfriend, trust me. One, one of my um, co-workers just tells me that I should never get a girlfriend and never get a wife. And, and it was so funny too, but yeah. So then I started explaining about that. Then, at this part right here, I switched to Flurry and I basically blow out that piece of paper right there. And I opened up that, um, that chest and apparently included some health um, partner. Um, badge and all to where your partner slowly regains um health and all and I basically switched back to Coops because you know what why not Coops is the best Coops is the man 
of the everything of the century and all and I just basically love coops so then we go down to the a thousand year door and I was trying to see if I got that shine spire because that's why I was like leaning up towards the the gate and all but yeah we just basically you know just got back from Boggly Woods and got the second crystal star and all and I was like, you know, doing my Coops impersonation as usual. I'm good for you, Mario. Break out the crystal stein. <laughs> and I basically just do something like that. And probably did something with my Mario voice here and there. Yeah, I kind of just like do like a whole lot of stuff when it comes with these types of games. Because, you know, I had the best childhood when it comes with these types of GameCube games and also resembling that towards like any other game I did like a playthrough of. So then, you know, the map, of course, it appears that this map right there, it definitely um, is gonna reveal a new passageway for the next chapter of the, you know, Paper Mario the A Thousand Year Door. So then the map opens and as it appears, to be a floating island that has a, a pagoda and a chain shop like in the in the, in the um, in, you know in the air and on the clouds too as well which there was a third crystal star and you know um the location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map so basically you know we already have that recorded and now we're just gonna go ahead and go with the dialogue cool the next crystal star showed up on the map Hey, but is it me or is it up in the sky or something? And what could that mean? And then Mario's just like, you know, he was just thinking about it. Like, what in the world are we gonna do about the crystal star that's up in the sky? And then, you know, I was doing my, you know, my Professor Frankly type voice to where we're just inside Professor Frankly's um, office and all. And he was just saying that the crystal stars have been sealed behind that door. And, um, or they sealed the door shut. So that way the, you know, the evil spirit doesn't, you know, come out and all. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything with that. But it's just, that's how it would be and all. But yeah, we was just like chit-chatting, me, me and frankly, you know, we was just chit-chatting about, um, you know, a whole bunch of like stuff and all. And, um, yeah, we was just, like, talking about, yeah, frankly, apparently doesn't know the thieves of, like, robbers and all, and, um, and again, Mario looks so delusional right in this picture, he just standing there, like, my boy is just looking at a constant wall. <laughs> I was so done after when I saw that. Every single time Mario just looks so delusional. He just looks face to face. He is so he's like a statue. He should be like the Statue of Liberty of like New York City and like all that. Like oh my lord, that it'd be so funny. It'd be so funny. Just just walk by through, you know, New York City and imagine Mario just standing there like that. Like, that's, honestly, you gotta think, that that is actually pretty, you know, amazing, that the fact that, you know, stuff like that, that you could see as a statue, even models, even models, even they would stand like that, but yeah, apparently, it's a floating town of Glitzville that we have to go to, just to find this next crystal star, and it's where great warriors engage in fierce battles, us, Hints to the, yeah, some words that I don't r originally describe, but it, it is it is a little bit a lot to learn from the dialogue of whatever Nintendo puts in the game and all. But yeah, it's just a lot of new words that I need to look up and all. Yeah, I need to know like the meanings of each and every single world and all, or like the you know the words of what people say and all, like what they mean and and how is it so different, you know. How can you use that in a meeting of context? And so I, I ask myself because I'm an autistic person because of the fact that, you know, I'm just basically, <laughs> yeah, I barely know any words, like, trust me. Like, I know some, but not like a whole lot, you know, that's just, that's just me. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm just like repeating everything. It's just, I was just so ticked that my audio 
not just because of the commentary the commentary is still fine but it's just the, the gaming the the game audio doesn't come in and i was like god darn it no wonder why because i also recorded a new series that i'm going to be doing for the channel it's going to be called um mario party uh custom boards and it's where i play these um people's like custom boards and i actually started playing their actual creations and i did this one map by um party planner 64 to where it's like i playing on the um the f0 um white land like one and on and it was off of the uh the Mario Kart Wii custom tracks or whatever. I guess he got some type of map to where like he can basically make like all these spaces and all. But yeah, basically I could just like you know play all a lot of them. You guys is like custom boards and you know just everything else like that. But yeah. Anyway, so yes, and apparently we have to find this Pianta Syndicate, and basically the Don Pianta is the owner of the Syndicate army which by the way you know i've known a pretty much a whole lot of youtubers that are part of the you know the syndicate and it's part of you know that they make their own group and they make it to where it's like their own a posse you know like if you're playing red dead redemption that's what you can call your teammates a posses but i guess in reality you just call them their syndicate but anyway so then i just walk out through um um Professor Franklin's room and I start to go power up my um, partners and all just for um, because of the fact that I collected a whole bunch of shine sprites and all and apparently yes um, I did like my little Merlin voice as the usual I wish if you guys could you know hear it but you know sadly this is a little commentary I know I know I was sad and now you guys are sad with me but at least I still got to, you know, release the video and, you know, just everything of whatever had happened with this episode without me just, you know, playing the game and also, you know, doing it and all. And now, guys, this will never, ever happen again. And let me just say this. I'm, for now on, I'm definitely going to check when I'm going to record an episode to make sure that, hey, I feel better and I feel great and I'm just going to make sure I just do good the best way i can be doing good and all but yeah yeah anyway so i powered up coops then i powered up flurry because i, I kind of figured you know why not because we're about to enter like a whole bunch of like chapters that are about to like feature a whole lot of um you know a whole bunch of like you know mysterious you know type enemies to where we're just gonna have to face them and that's what you know we're, we're legitimately gonna do that and all but yeah anyway so um, yeah, so we powered up Flurry, and then we was gonna go, and all, and apparently, I think, I think, if I'm correct, I went back, and went to the, um, the bed place, and all, and apparently there's, like, Luigi, right, from the side, and all, and yes, we did talk to Luigi, I kinda wanted to talk to my brother about a few things, and all, and yes, I went upstairs and saw Toadsworth, and, um, the lady, that um would say that we would stay but we have an in coupon so i was like you know what the heck you know why not or maybe no but i think i think i said no because i don't know i think oh no wait oh i said mess it up i'm just gonna go ahead and do it Bruh. so i get like a little free night in i know it's a little bit kind of bit freaky and all but yeah anyways so um I actually, you know, started to, um, I slept well, and you know what, I got my rest in, and yeah, I just basically done whatever and all, and I started to, you know, because I actually got the, um, the texture pack, the HD texture pack, and I started to look up upon the walls, and apparently it showed, you know, Bowser, it showed Gino, it showed the bartender, and it also shows the, spoiler alert, it showed Rock Hawk as the, um, the boss. For um, the glitzville of the next chapter and all but yeah anyways so then I started to come to figure out that yeah that was actually the um you know the picture and all that I just now like you know noticed and all and then I started to talk to this um the shopkeeper and apparently he allowed me to know that my my contact lens are definitely at the shop because of the fact that 
when we saw the you know the cook that was like um you know guarding the west side of town i had to get the contact lens because you know hey that's a part of the storyline is for me to go ahead and legitimately gonna um you know talk to um i think what was his name i think it might have been zest he or something like that i don't know but yeah he calls us mr squishy because we squished his contact lens like earlier parts of the episode of when i first you know did paper mario the a thousand year door and he said you know contact lens oh sweet relief thank you and he was finally he could see crispy clear and all and he's so happy i i, I think like i don't i like at first i didn't think it was a lady because i like i don't think men would just like post like hearts and all unless that they were gay or whatever though but anyway so then i wanted to check in you know with a little bit of cooking you know your boys gotta learn how to cook one day in the future but anyways i started to talk to this toad and basically i walked around because i thought there would have been something that i probably would have gotten myself into but no, I didn't find anything, so then again, I started to talk to this cook that basically told me that, oh, I'm Mr. Stomp a lot. Well, guess what? <laughs> you apparently dropped your contact lens on purposely, so that way you would have blamed me just because, for what? For nothing? Just because I switched your contact lens? And plus, it even costed me like 10 coins, which by the way, I can carry, I can get myself a lot more money. E even, even I make a lot more money when I'm working for Best Buy Distribution, and I can pay $10 worth of contact lens. I'm pretty sure in real life, it probably would have costed a lot more, because, I mean, you know, you can't really just compare a game into something like in reality, like, like, sometimes I do do that, but then again, there's like times where it's like, nah, I don't. But then again, you know, I bet you real life, if you had like, you know, trouble, you know, seeing or like doing whatever with your life, like if you're blind or something like that, yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, contact lenses are actually, you know, pretty, you know, expensive on where you guys are at and all. But yeah, anyway, so then, um, you know, Zesty is, you know, he's of course cooking the um a new dish and all and apparently we was waiting but um yeah we just made ourselves i think a dish and he calls us stompy and so we got shroom fry yes and i basically you know basically and it looks like pot roast really to me i mean that picture right over there when, when mario was like holding his dish it just looked like you know um it looked like um you know, pot roast or whatever my, what my mom used to make and all. But yeah, anyway, so then here's Luigi with his blooper little friend. And I know the story, it gets so long. And let me tell you, he went to a trip on Rumble Vault. Rumble Vault. Bruh. Oh, Lord. The lip reading. The bad lip reading. Blooper bloopers. This is Blooper Bloopers new series. And this is where I totally had messed up with my bad lip reading. And, um... A terrible video that didn't have in-game audio I mean I probably would have had it because it would have made sense to play you know the, the in-game audio because of the fact that I'm paying my respect towards the game developers that created Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door which is you know Nintendo and Hasbro which you know technically they that's what they did they made this game and you know what I'm not gonna lie it, it would have been better if I had it but you know sadly my freaking OBS freaking did some stupid stuff. So then, you know, I started, you know, reading a whole bunch of like Luigi's freaking long text, freaking storylines and plots about his fantasy, you know, lifestyle and whatever. He's trying to rescue this princess Eclair and he has to defeat the evil Chestnut King. And yes, I wish, now I wish if Nintendo did this. I wish that Luigi had a DLC moment that we would have played his story and been his characters, his partners, and would have dealt with some like partner or no, dealt with some enemies that look like, you know, food basically. Because if, if you look at an Eclair as chocolate and a, um, a chestnut as a nut, you can tell that it's basically where Luigi was going to was some food 
type place and all. And you know what? Hey, that's what Mario did. Mario went to a food kingdom that basically that was in his mind. He went to a food kingdom to stop the evil King Bowser from stealing and stealing and stealing until when he married Princess Peach. Which, by, by God, I'm probably going to be doing that Switch game at some point in the future. Which is, you know, of course, because I got a Nintendo Switch. Not going to lie. Because... You know, we Joy-Con boys are going to go at it with the Switch title and all. But yeah, anyway, so... And then, you know, Luigi starts rambling and rambling and rambling about what he's talking about with the whole, you know, stuff that... Whatever happened in this freaking randomness mind. Jeez Louise. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, one of my friends just uses Luigi as a character. But, God, my God... If I have to say this, I will say it. Then, you come up with randomness, man. You come up with randomness. You don't know if, if Mario Party 5 is going to work for you or not. But you know what? I don't know. I mean, maybe? I mean, because... Alright, so, I'm, I'm going to go on with my marvelous story of whatever happened when I was with my friends, alright? Because I had to let you guys know before I was like, going ahead, moving on, what in the world's going on with DK's modern life? Um, but yeah, anyway, so, I started to go over with my friend's house, and we, you know, we basically, you know, had a good time and all, and I didn't felt like, you know, I wanted to spend the night, so I had to let T down, and also, I didn't want to do that because, you know, then again, I was thinking about my company that had a picnic, but then again, I was like, eh, I didn't want to do that, so then I thought about YouTube, and I was like, hey, you know what, I need to be back on doing YouTube again, so then, whatever happened after that, we went to, you know, of course, um, Cracker Barrel to where, which by the way, Cracker Barrel was amazing, oh my lord, the food is just marvelous, it's just amazing, I had like chicken and dumplings, fried apples, and then like green beans and all, yes, you gotta eat your freaking green beans, I eat the greens all day, that's why, you know, I'm, I'm with my bro Ben a whole lot, because he uses Luigi, and I'm usually the, the Mario that basically says a whole bunch of um, Italian verses and all, so, you know, no, I was just, you know, like that. And plus, you know, we was also debating on going to Little Maria's. Now that place right there, that, that that's a fantastic goal. That is fantastic goal, man. I go in there and I try this Alfredo type, you know, sauce that they had and their noodles and all so priceless and their their little um spices that I do within you know my time and all. And, um, and yes, by the way, too, I also talk with the blooper himself, basically, Bluey, you know, he, <laughs> Luigi is a total freaking liar, and he basically says, don't listen to him, but he's my brother, I got to listen to him, I mean, what, what if, what if he just passes away, I mean, the, the, what can what can I do until then? I mean, I can't I can't just leave my brother behind. I, I gotta go and like support my brother, y you know, because you know that's what Mario does. He supports his brother alongside he supports the princess. So therefore, Mario's a nice generosity type person, just like how I am. I'm a nice generosity person because of the fact that I do the greater of the good. You know, I make sure that my chores are done. I make sure that my workplace gets the right product that's gonna be you know good and all so then after that you know after all this of course I do try to have my reasonings being with drivers and I still I'm still like you know focusing on with my drivers and basically doing whatever what it is and all with you know with my driving and all and, uh, and yes, I do smack my brother on top of the head because, yeah, he probably does talk a little bit stupid. I mean, sometimes, but that's brothers. That's brothers. Sometimes, you know, that's what sisters do. You know, sisters. I mean, I, mean, I think when you have a sister, they, they mean like they do like the, all those, oh, I'm telling dad. Oh, I'm telling mom. And, and then, and then, like with your brother, you just like constantly fight because you know men versus men are always the, the choices and all. So then I go to the badge shop and I basically try to figure out you know what badges did they have like for sale and all. And I was like, 
uh, they have a whole ton of partners, which I don't want no, you know, partner badges because I kind of figured, you know, why not just look at the badges that I have? So, you know, I, I started looking at my badges. I got Quake Hammer, Happy Heart on, and if I just keep on, you know, going down the list, I had Mega Rush P, HP Plus, Multi Bounce, Close Call, and like Power Smash, which that's just, you know, the basic, you know, type um, badges on what we have and all. So then, you know, I was just debating if I was going to put more badges in terms of my, um, in my playthrough of Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door. So then, again, I was talking to Miss Mouse, of course, another spoiler, she's actually the shopkeeper for Paper Mario A Thousand Year Door, also a shop thief as well, or a badge thief, not a shop, not a shop thief. I don't think she would just steal her own badges from her own shop that she basically opened up her own business I don't think she'll do that sure she'll go to like places to where they you know people probably lost their badges and all but hey that don't that don't mean stuff that that don't mean it that, that don't mean anything you, you know Mario's still you know collecting a few star bits here and there or star crystal I think they're star crystals I'm not too sure Bruh. Or, no, because I'm, I'm meaning, like, the legendary crystal stars in a different manner. But, yeah, anyway, so then, then, oh, my God, this is where things get freaking wild. There's this thing, right, to where there's a code, right? You gotta buy this dried shroom, and you gotta buy the dizzy dial. And then she asked you, yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister, what color is your mustache? And then I mistakenly said freaking yellow or black so then then I, she goes oops yeah let's try that again um what what's your favorite color and i said oh yeah yellow and then i was like i was so clueless on what she even said so then so then i was like yeah i'm gonna buy this again and then i'm gonna buy freaking dizzy dial again and then um by the way too i don't think that even worked because she didn't even tell me um uh, what you know what's my favorite what's my mustache color and everything else like that or what's my favorite color that I do all this time so then I sell those items again and I did like a little repeat of the same thing over and over again and it was so mad so then I called this boo a stupid little hoe because this hoe right in the freaking you know in the shop she tells me to you know okay I'm doing a code because Hey, spoiler alert, I've already known this game, I've already played this game, and I've basically, you know, done the good and all. So then, you know, I kind of figure out that I had to sell all the drive rooms and all the dizzy dials because I wanted so much room. But then again, the weirdest thing is, I kept on getting a whole bunch of shop points, and it was so weird because, I, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go on a, like a little two hours later or three hours later or four hours later and I basically just you know start to go ahead and legitimately take all day just to get out all, all my shot points so then buy all that again and then she still asked me the same dumb question again what's my freaking mustache color and then I go I pick, I pick black because that was that was the right one and then and I pick my clothing and then she asked me some stupid dumb freaking question and I was like, you stupid dumb hoe. So then, then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and skip this because, you, you know, um, apparently, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing it and all. I just, or actually, nah, nah, you know what? We're gonna play back the same part all over again. And this is what I do, okay? So I'm going ahead, I'm buying the freaking dried shroom. Then I'm buying the dizzy dial. Then after the dizzy dial, then she asked me the questions again. So then I'm like, huh, you know, I'm picking black. But then again, then after that, then guess what? I picked yellow. So then I was like, what the heck? Black and yellow from the Wiz Khalifa song name, black and yellow. And I was like, you stupid dumb hoe. You stupid dumb freaking porno freaking size hoe. 
So then she opens up the door and allows me to go in and see freaking Don Piazza himself because we was gonna go ahead and do that and I was smacking my hammer on this hoe, the freaking, you know, the, you know, the, I don't know what you would call that. I, I mean, I've seen that outfit before in multiple occasions of before they were famous about some, you know, some guy that owned the, the Playboy Mansion, yup, that was the one, the Playboy Mansion, that I started to notice the boo was wearing the outfit, usually, now, here was the thing that I just started to notice, did you know, in gaming, she was wearing a bunny, um, type outfit, where it's like, you know, Playboy, you know, type girls, they wear that type of stuff like that, well, apparently, they had to change that up, so now, it's like, basically, a cat, and basically, everything else like that, so then, you know, I was like, you know, all right, you know, I might as well talk to Don Pianta and and let him know that hey, I want the ticket to go to the glimp. So then, you know, I was doing my impersonations of you know his um syndicate bodyguards and all, and it was funny because it was the bodyguards they sounded so alike of the um the Hat in Time, which is by the way, or the something like that. I think. Yeah, it's where you play as this girl, and then, like, you have to, like, collect your, um, the time crystals and all. And let me tell you guys, that game looks a lot similar of Super Mario Sunshine and Wind Waker. Put them two together, you got yourself a fine game. Now, apparently, so, then, I talked to the Syndicate. And I repeatedly told him that, hey, I want the blimp tickets. But no, no, we, we had to, we had to, you know, do a little bit of business. So then he goes, he was like, what's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And, uh, and yeah, I was doing like, yeah, yeah, sir, yeah, yeah, kidnapped. She was really kidnapped. And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. Yeah, sir, yeah, the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey, boss. Ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? And yeah, basically, you know, the, the freaking, you know, the first world of the hat in time. Basically, I sound like one of the guys that basically, the bald-headed guys that wear like one of those, you know, the waitress type, you know, uniforms that would, whatever you go to a restaurant, you would just see and all. But yeah, anyway, so then, then... I had to freaking legitimately still continue to talk to the freaking syndicate boss, Don Pianta. I had to talk to the boss himself. And so after that point, after that point, I was still talking to him. I was still, you know, reading my dialogue. I was still doing it. And then right after that, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead because of the fact that, oh yeah, by the way, um, I came back towards Roadport. And after when I was talking to the syndicate, because I knew this whole chapter just by heart. I know this whole chapter because I definitely played this game a lot of times. And I've seen like a lot of the, you know, live streamers playing it and all. And just basically everything else like that in general. But then again, here's the thing, right? I talked to this little rat, little weasel thing. And he goes, hey, you're Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd actually meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? And I was like, uh, what type of little investment are we talking about? So then, you know, this guy named Lumpy, he's going to Dry Dry Desert to uh, prospect for oil. So then he lived for his own life to try to get rich so freaking quickly and basically, you know, everything else like that. Well, then he needs to get funds. So then again, you know, I was a kind little gentleman to lend him a few funds, like what I do with, um, you know, you, you know, with, um, you know, the funds that I, well, I do to just to support, you know, a few Uber drivers that I try to get back, well, forward to work and then back to, you know, work and all. Which, by the well, I think I said the complete opposite that really doesn't make any sense but you know I just basically you know I go to work and then I come back from work you know and I basically just go home you know I legitimately go home what Carl tells Steve Urkel um, just to do go home go home go home so then I met up with um, you know the 
the duo of on um, boyfriend and girlfriend Frankie and um, Francesca. So then, you know, they started talking that, oh, they're not going to come there. They want a, a smart talk, you know, relationship. And they started to, you know, basically say, oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't ever lie to me like that. And then he says, like, some type of food items to where he calls her sugar cake, sugar cookie, love muffin, um, type, you know, butter biscuit. Or he does something with food. And I, I was like, dang, man. Why is he referencing her some food? Because, you know, I mean, like, why? Why would you want to tell your girl that, oh, 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 dog face, oh, oh, put a poppin', oh, um, a butter biscuit, oh, uh, twister twisty, oh, you little Hershey chocolate man, ooh. So then I go ahead and I start to come up and then oh second thing you know Flurry just interrupts me when I'm like legitimately trying to go to my freaking place. So then right after that point or another then you know she tells me some like other information like this and all and then I start to go back right I start to go back to Roadport. So then, right after that point, then I went to the west side of town just to report back to, you know, the syndicate boss. So then, I start to go to the syndicate boss and tell them the bad news, but then again, they show up, and I was like, why the heck are they showing up? Because of the fact that they, they was telling some pointless relationship type goals or whatever, they're, what they're gonna do and all. So then, there was like, oh, they're sorry, they're sorry. And the boss was just like, you know, he was so disappointed, so he wanted them to leave. And then, you know, and we was like, oh, you know, we did our duties and all. And then, you know, he was all headstrong and all, and he doesn't want to see them again. And he was like, just go, just go. And then, you know, all the all of his syndicate, you know, servants are just, you know, just right there. And then telling, um, you know, them that this is like, you know, a great thing of what they're doing with their relationship and all. Uh, but the boss doesn't seemingly like it. So, you know, um, there was like, you know, all farewell. And moments later after that, then um, I started to leave. But then again, I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to stay here. And... I told him, I said, hey, I found your daughter, now give me what I want. So we did like, you know, a little bit of business. Because if he didn't, if, if he didn't give me the tickets, I probably wouldn't have went off. I probably would have stated, why the heck are you not giving me the tickets? You were in the game in the first place. If you don't give me the tickets, we're not even going to go collect the crystal stars. And the whole world is just going to be a, a whole um, demolished place to where it's all water. Or an exploded planet to where we just all vanish and like immediately like just die in the middle of freaking nowhere. But anyways, we got the blimp ticket. So now, then I ended off the episode right here. And basically, I saved towards this point right here. And I basically, I was right next to the train, which by the way, the train is a lot of fun. And I have basically done that and I've ended off the episode right there. So then, guys, that's the whole story of the reasoning being why I was legitimately right there. So then, guys, I was like thinking towards myself, you know, that's what exactly had happened with the LP that I did for episode 14. So, guys, I just want to say a little um, thank you guys so much guys for watching. If you haven't so already, please do so to punch the like button below. It's very much appreciated for support of this channel. Would like to reach the likeage around five likes in the video. It's very much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, comment, share below what you guys think about me um, commentating on an episode, unfortunately, because of the fact that my freaking desktop audio didn't even go through. And until next time, of course, we will be going into Glitzville and fighting a whole bunch of, you know, WrestleMania type, you know, people that are basically from you know the wrestlemania stuff or just basically fight a whole bunch of fighters and call ourselves a great warrior of all time now until next time of course this is your boy dk signing out please have yourselves a dang good one as much as a good night for you guys too peace